Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. I was struck by verse 3. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. How, how many times have you shied away from long lines? Well, I have countless times before. No? There were times I was not willing to wait in line at the grocery store. Kahit na <clears throat> nakakuha na ako ng bibili, I chose na ibalik ko pa para uh, huwag akong pumila ng matagal. No? Delay ko na lang. Sabi ko, mamaya na lang. There were times uh, I ended up not being able to buy what I needed for the day. No? I did not want to uh, ano, wait uh, long lines uh, before sa voter's registration. Kaya merong times na hindi ako nakaboto. Sa Christmas package lang nga, eh, sa pagkiklaim ng Christmas package. No? I will choose to uh, wait in line sa last day. No? Uh, kasi wala na masyadong tao nun eh. Kaya lang, dahil huli na ako, malit na yung ham na nakukuha ko. <laughs> but uh, I noticed when I'm not alone, no? pag hindi lang ako mag when I have someone with me, I can endure the long lines. So many times, it is the same in our prayers. When we are the only one praying for our concerns, no, sometimes it feels like our prayers are not being answered or matagal ma-answer. Uh, and sometimes, no, we just stop or delay praying about it. But when a lot of people pray for us, intercede for us, parang hindi nakakahinip maghintay. Parang ang bilis din ma-answer ng mga prayers. I believe we saw a similar thing no? uh, in the gospel today. Four men carried the paralytic to bring him to Jesus to be healed. They were undaunted by the large crowd no? do sa bahay. Um, it was probably easier to say na balik na lang tayo pag konti yung tao. No? Ang daming tao eh. No? But they knew Jesus was very busy. No? Bihira lang umuwi sa Capernaum si Jesus because he was preaching all over. Uh, the kingdom of God. So, the four men no, interceded for the paralytic. They kept on. Humanap ng paraan. Hindi sila sumuko to bring their friends' concerns to Jesus. And true enough, they were able to uh, bring him in front of Jesus. And Jesus saw their faith. Not only the faith of the paralytic, but more so the faith of his intercessors. And the paralytic ended up walking home. May we be like the friends of the paralytic, not only willing to help him in his needs, but more so faithful in praying for him and interceding for him until his prayers were answered. May the Lord give us the grace to be faithful intercessors for one another until our prayers are answered by the Lord. Amen.